Hello and welcome to part 2 of our Crypto Frogs Masterclass. In this video, I'll be going over everything you need to get started buying your first shitcoin on the Ethereum chain, from setting up your wallet to hitting the buy button. This tutorial will be very similar to the Binance Smart Chain video I made a short while ago. So let's get straight into it. We'll start by setting up a Metamask wallet. The first thing you need to do is head to Google and type in Metamask. Click on the first link, metamask.io, and head to download. Now I'm on Google Chrome, so the installation process may vary depending on which browser you're on, but Metamask supports a range of browsers, for example, Chrome, Firefox, Brave, Edge, and Opera. So you can install on these browsers as well. But for today's video, we'll be installing it on Google Chrome. So hit install Metamask for Chrome. It's gonna send you to the Chrome web store, where all you have to do is hit add to Chrome and add extension. Once you've installed the extension, you'll need to create a new wallet. You'll be greeted with this screen, and hit create a new wallet. Agree. And create a password. Make sure you remember and create a strong password because Metamask will not be able to recover it. You cannot reset this password if you forget it later on. Watch this video as well as it gives you plenty of tips to keep your seed phrase and funds safe. Make sure you keep your seed phrase in a safe and secure place as this will be the only way to recover your wallet if you ever lose your password or your device. Once you've created your wallet, You'll be greeted with a wallet creation successful screen. Now the nice part about being on the Ethereum chain is that when you download Metamask, you are defaulted to the Ethereum mainnet. So you will not have to add any networks to get started on Ethereum. And that's it. You've set up your Metamask wallet. Now you might ask, how do I get Ethereum in my wallet? And here's where part two comes in. Now transferring funds to your wallet is a very simple process. There's a few ways to do it, and if you're new, there's plenty of easy ways as well. The first way is by going to Binance.com. Here you can sign up with Binance, buy some Ethereum, and send it to your wallet. Or you can actually do it directly through Metamask as well. All you have to do is click this buy button. Now in my country, there are three different ways to buy Ethereum on Metamask, either through Coinbase Pay, Transact, or MoonPay. For the purpose of this video, we'll be using MoonPay. Now MoonPay is very simple to use. All you have to do is select the currency you want to pay with, in my case, pounds, and how much Ethereum you want to buy or how much you want to spend. For example, I want to spend 50. It will tell you how much Ethereum you'll get, as well as their processing fees and their network fees. Make sure you enter your email here and choose which payment method you'd like to use. Enter your payment details here and hit continue. Now I'm not going to go through the entire process for the sake of this video, but Towards the end, you'll be greeted with a box to enter a wallet address in to receive your Ethereum. Now this is where you need to go back to your wallet and hit copy to clipboard over this address. It will say account one and have a little address underneath. Hit copy. And when you go to enter it into MoonPay, just hit paste. Now I funded my wallet with 0.2 ETH, which is roughly $316 at the time of this video. Now we can move on to part three, actually buying your first shitcoin on the Ethereum chain. Now, as with all chains, there is always a decentralized exchange platform you have to use to buy tokens. The most popular being Uniswap. So start by searching Uniswap on Google. Head to the Uniswap website and click launch DAP. You'll be greeted with this screen. Hit get started. And now we can see the swap platform. Now, as with all exchange sites, you do have to connect your wallet to be able to trade on their platform. So we're going to go to the top right and click connect. Metamask, connect the account and allow Uniswap to connect. Now we've connected our wallet to Uniswap and we can see our Ethereum balance. Now here is where you can go ahead and click select token and either pick one of these or enter the contract address of the coin you want to purchase. Now what is a contract address? Now a smart contract is what everything on blockchains are built on. It's usually a few hundred lines of code, which basically allows the buying and selling of the coin and defines some parameters, such as the name, supply, transaction fees, etc. Now, where can we find the actual contract address of a token? Now, I'm going to use the project Shibarium DAO for this example, as they are a coin on the Ethereum chain. If you're in the Telegram group of a project, usually all you have to do is type in slash CA and you'll be replied to with the contract address where you can just go copy and paste it into Uniswap. You'll be greeted with a warning, hit understand. Now you can enter how many shipped out tokens or how much ETH you'd like to purchase. Now an important thing on Uniswap is that you have to know about something called slippage. 
Usually with tokens that have taxes or extra fees, you are required to set a higher slippage. We can find out the slippage we have to use, usually by typing in slash tax. The taxes for Shibarium DAO is 5% buy and 5% sell. So we can hit the settings cog up here and set our slippage to 6%. Now we can hit swap, confirm swap, and confirm the transaction in MetaMask. Transaction will submit. And now you can see your token balance in Uniswap. Now you might ask, how do I view the price and how do I view the chart of a token? Now there are many, many decentralized tools that you can use to view charts. My favorite being Dex Screener. So head over to dexscreener.com and you'll be greeted with this, where we're gonna select Ethereum and you can view all of the recent tokens on Ethereum. But most importantly, we wanna hit search and here is where you can paste in the token contract address of the coin we are referring to. So paste the contract in and select the one. Now here's where you can view the chart for any token on the Ethereum chain. I'm gonna get rid of this blue. Dex Screener is a powerful tool because it shows you all the information such as the price, the liquidity, the market cap, and a whole bunch of other information up here on the right. And there you have it. Congratulations, you have bought your first coin on the Ethereum chain. Now the process to sell is essentially the same thing. You wanna head back to Uniswap, and instead of doing Ethereum into ShibDAO, we do ShibDAO into Ethereum. Now you have to approve the use of ShibDAO on Uniswap, which we can do in MetaMask. It will ask you to sign a message. And now you can hit swap. Confirm swap again, and confirm the transaction. Now you might have realized that actually in this transaction, we lost 0.02 ETH even though the price of the coin has barely changed. Well, that's due to something called slippage and gas fees. Like I mentioned earlier, slippage is the tolerance. On tokens with taxes, for example, Shibda with 5% buy and 5% sell, you have to set the slippage slightly above the total tax amount so that your transaction can go through. Now, taxes are completely normal on any coin, and often they are essential for the growth and expansion of a project. Taxes are important, but you won't always have taxes on a coin. Some tokens have 0% taxes, which are great, but don't be worried if there's a transaction fee. Just make sure you don't put your slippage too high, for example, 30% or more, as you may get front run, and definitely don't set it to 99. Now on the Ethereum chain, there are something called gas fees. This has nothing to do with the token itself, and it's solely for the Ethereum blockchain to work. With every transaction, you may pay between two to $25 between buy and sell transactions, it's completely normal, and sometimes the gas fees are more or less expensive depending on the traffic of the chain. The more busy the chain is, the higher fees you have to pay. It's completely normal to pay up to $50 in gas fees for buying or selling. Yes, I know it's expensive, but it's not out of the ordinary. And there you have it. You've bought and sold your first coin on the Ethereum chain. Now let's say you've made some profit and you want to send it back to your bank account. It's actually very simple to do this. You can actually do this through MoonPay, the same provider we use to buy Ethereum. Head to moonpay.com, hit sell BTC, change BTC to Ethereum, and tell them how much you want to deposit, in this case 0.2. They'll ask you to log in and enter your bank details, and at the end of it, you'll be asked to send ETH to a wallet address. Now here's where you go back to MetaMask and click send. Enter the wallet address they ask you to send to, enter the amount of ETH you want to send, in this case I want to transfer it all, and click next. You want to confirm the transaction, and MoonPay will receive your ETH, and send it to your bank account. And there we have it. You've set up your MetaMask wallet, bought some Ethereum, learned how to use Uniswap, how to buy your first coin on the ETH chain, and transferred your profits back to your bank account. I hope you guys have all learned something new. We'll be recording many more informative and educational videos just like this very, very soon. So make sure to subscribe with notifications on to never miss a video. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you learned something new.